Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we've got some cleaning, some thrifting, and of course some family fun and a bunch of yummy food. I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with us for the weekend. Now let's get to the video. Tonight for dinner we're having breakfast for dinner and we're going to be making some crepes using this Basic Concepts crepe maker. This was sent to us to test and we can't wait to try it out. So this crepe maker comes with a book of 100 recipes and the griddle itself is lightweight and compact so I might actually be able to find somewhere to keep it in my tiny kitchen. It also comes with two wooden utensils. For some reason, I think silicone would have been a better choice, but these did get the job done. This has super simple controls, and like I said, it'll fit in a compact space. I feel like this would be great for an RV or something, and I think it's the perfect size to use just to make some quesadillas or something really quickly for lunch. This is nonstick and super easy to clean. The only thing I wish it had was some sort of cover for when you're storing it. In my cabinets, I'll probably have to stack it, and I hope it's not going to get scratched or anything. So Adam's just mixing up the crepe batter. I'll leave a link to the recipe we use down below. This crepe maker does work really well, nothing stuck to it, and it is super easy to clean. So if you have room for an extra appliance, I would recommend it. The crepes turned out delicious. I'm going to be finding some other uses for it too, 
because I don't want to just make crepes on it and it gets forgotten in the cabinet with the waffle maker. So if you guys are interested in checking this out, I'm going to have a link and in the information down below. For the filling, Adam is mixing together two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one block of softened cream cheese, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. Then he added in some crispy bacon. We just topped our crepes off with some whipped cream, some more bacon, and some more maple syrup, and these were absolutely delicious. The mess in our bedroom had gotten a little out of control, so I spent the morning cleaning it up. Does anyone else hate folding sheets as much as I do? I don't know if it's because I'm short and a king size sheet is huge, but I dread it every time. But I also hate wrinkled sheets, so I have to fold them. So if the room looks a little different to you if you've been here a while, we finally got a new mattress and it completely changed the room. It's so big and squishy and puffy and comfortable. We're so happy with it. The one we had was about 10 years old. It was really uncomfortable and we were both having back pain and everything. So we finally splurged and got a new mattress. With the old mattress, it would take me hours to fall asleep just because I wasn't comfortable. And with this one, I go to sleep almost instantly. So this isn't sponsored or anything, but if you've been looking around for a new mattress, I highly recommend this one. I'll leave a link to it down below so you can check it out if you want. I got some laundry started before we took the boys out to play. I wanted to wash the quilt that I finally finished. This is made from scraps of all of my previous projects.
found treasure. Yeah. Why don't you just take the bucket with you? Okay. It'd be easier. Yeah. Don't trip. A little while later, Adam was still outside playing with the boys, so I headed to town to look around at the thrift store. Why does this exist? This one can stay on the shelf. When you're thrifting, you always have to keep a sharp eye out. I almost passed up this vase section, and I would have missed out on this Pyrex measuring cup. So here's everything I ended up getting. I got a border for our bulletin board to put around our calendar. I did end up getting that measuring cup I found. We have a two cup one and I've been saying that we needed a bigger one for a while. And this one is four cups. This was $3. I also got this bag for $2.50. I used to make a lot of bags like this and I thought the fabric was really pretty and it was in really good condition. I got these crystal growing kits for the boys. These were $2 each. They've been having a lot of fun with things like this lately. And I always end up with a bunch of books when I go, these were 50 cents each. I found two workbooks for Tucker, He's been getting a little bored with school, so it's always fun to get something new. It's rare to find these in the thrift store without any writing in them, but these were brand new. I thought Tucker would love this My First Cookbook. He loves to help in the kitchen and he also likes to make recipes with his play kitchen. I thought this one might be fun. It's got lots of recipes to make with your kids. I also got a few storybooks. The first one is The Three Pigs. And this one is called Magic in the Attic. It's about a bear that makes a balloon animal and it comes to life. I thought it was super cute, so I grabbed it even though it was missing the cover. I also found a few fun books for the boys. A hundred things you should know about world wonders.
Jared is always asking me when things were invented, so I thought he would love this one. And then I got this Search and Find Life Long Ago book. It's full of hidden pictures and has a lot of information about different time periods in history. We only have a cat, but all of the dogs and one cat. We only have a cat, but a cat can't wind up in our yard at night. And it comes up at mom's and loves on her. And what? Loves on her. So you drew the cat? Yep. He's kind of our cat? <laughs> because he might be a wild cat and we might get him. Tonight for dinner we're having buffalo chicken tostadas. We just boiled some chicken and then we're going to shred it and add on our buffalo sauce and some ranch. I'll leave our buffalo sauce recipe down below. Called? Do you listen, like guacamole? Listen to the sound. It's the best sound in the world. Guacamole? Guacamole. <laughs> so to make our tostadas, we have some refried beans. Guacamole. Our buffalo chicken, some shredded lettuce, some diced sweet onions, queso fresco cheese, and some more ranch dressing. Get the other one! Get them all! Get them! Get them! You wait, you missed one! Go get it! Get this one! Ow, that was my foot! Get them all! Get them all! Get them all! Get them! Get them! Stack them up and get them. Get that one. Go get the other one. <laughs> You're not going to get them all? Go get the other one. Go get the other one. Go get that one. Go get that one. Get that one. No, give me them. No. <laughs> you want me to throw them or not? Give me them. Don't you step on me. Back up. Back. Back. Ready? Good boy. Next one. <laughs> Too close. Back up. Ready? Which one do 
do you want first? This one? Or this one? I don't know which one it is. The blue one? Or the orange one? Okay, get it! Ah, you wanted the blue one, good boy! Good boy! <laughs> see what it is. It's uh, yeast. To make things rise. So what you make pizza dough out of. Are you going to help Daddy make dough? Whoa, this is sticking! Yeah, they have magnets in them. You going to help Dad? Make some pretzels? Yeah. Cups with that one. There you go, put it in the water. One more. And one scoop with this one. Good job. Now, can I help it? Yeah. Job, Chef Tucker. That's it. That's it. We don't need any more. Don't fling it everywhere. Gentle, slow. There you go. Literally threw, threw them in. I'm stirring it. Hey, Bubba. I love don't, you. Don't, don't stir it too much. Yeah, I said slow. Stuff. All right, stop stirring it. Put it in the fork. Hold it. Hold it up. Over the bowl, baby. Wait. All right, go. Good job. You're making pizza dough. Pretzel dough. Yeah, I'm making pizza. <laughs> Making pencils, Dad. All right, you can put that in the sink. <laughs> Here, put it in there. What Slowly. I'm making that? pencils with that. Not pencils. pencils. We're making pretzels. Not pencils. Right. <laughs> Daddy's gonna do the rest. What pencils? What pencils? Gotcha. Scoot back a little more. Don't fall off the edge. And then we have to wait. That's making me dizzy. <laughs> You're silly, Bubba. So That's glass. Gonna... Be careful. No plenty over there. Okay. But then we have a tub then. And put them in the fridge. In the fridge? Yeah. We okay. want them warm. You've never had a soft pretzel, have you? Mm -hmm. He's had a pretzel dog, but that's it. <laughs> okay, now. You just made pizza dough. Pretzel dough, Good. Mom. Well, same thing. Good job. <laughs> what for? You gonna sit there for thirty minutes and watch it rise? Yeah. <laughs> thirty minutes is a long time. It's not rising yet. <laughs> Is it rising now? No. <laughs> what about now? No. What about now? What about now? No. Peanut <laughs> 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 puzzle. Do you want mean, sticks? Do you want balls? I just figured like little chunks, right? I mean, right. it feels like peanut butter. It feels like peanut butter.
On this night for dinner, Adam made a deep dish pizza. I'll have the recipes down below for our pizza crust and our marinara sauce. If you've been here a while, you've seen us make pizza a thousand times. So I'm just gonna let the music play and let you enjoy the cheesy goodness. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next one.